Sticky saliva fondles my brow line and squirms to my toes. Souls press on warming acrylic. I have been collected by the sugary drizzle of my apartment shower. Plucked from arid conflict to humid comfort. A reward for a job well done. I have returned from war a victor. Puzzle piece finds its place. Sour memory enters. Abrupt contrition hooks my scruff and throws me out of the bath. Another thrust and my sopping extremities are flattened against the carpeted floor of the main room. Shoved from sanctuary to rat hole, plague drips from my breast. I am muzzled by my actions and mounted by the shrieking inevitable. Pulsating hands sprint for surface, desperately running towards any suggestion of a new texture to reshape a traveling mind. Elements reveal themselves as hollow friends, leaving my grasping limbs to collapse with the rest of my tenement. Scents of elsewhere spit ridicule from the floor of my cocoon. Any slab of concrete is a favorable gurney to where I writhe, knotted. My heart crumbles. Its debris divides my vertebrae from my spine. A manic quartet parades through my intestines, bellowing death's cacophony. As my innards bear the theme of cataclysm, my outer casing calcifies. Doom marches nearer, bursting through organs rupturing all borders and roots to cerebellum. Temporal lobe cowers in the presence of the musical bandits plundering its hold. The occipital turns to arms, bracing for its final stand. That's when they spoke to me. The apartment walls. They talk not through words, but with colors. Merciful hymns of gamboge drift through skin. They show my unshackled remains to their new station. Just above where I lay floats my sliding closet door. Inside, a gift I must open. I obey. The path to my future awaits. The milk crate of workmen's tools. Unstained, unsullied. Nestled around burnished hammer is plaster, chicken wire, and sheetrock. Building materials. Mine. But for what? 
In the peripheral mirror, I catch a glimpse of the walls, now tattooed with blueprints. I pivot to fully examine my calling. I am to construct a companion, a protector, someone to keep watch. It is to be calloused, yet spirited, varying, yet sophisticated, sensitive, but showing no emotion. Something beautifully sharp, dangerous enough to offer peace of mind. And in tumbling moments, burdened hands affix and nail at the very breath of instruction. Materials of all origin meld into common purpose. Mauve pours in through the murmurs of my supervisors. Garnet, daffodil, it is not an object, not a gadget, but something greater. A painting, a statue, a masterpiece. It advocates for me, for my security. Its purpose is sewn in service of my own. No longer will I flinch, no longer will I be ashamed. Chosen crossroads have assigned me to this great fate I have been designing my entire life. This is the culmination the encrustment of a crown jewel. This edict I have animated with my own hands, the overhead projector. We dance the dance of alleviation, a mechanical caress, wire, a dutiful masseuse for skin. Exhaust exudes from pores, a mixture of candied perspiration and opulent grease. Offspring fastens to its father, protecting always, degloving the trappings of humanity. Membrane peeled back to reveal the truth. I spill joyous tears with my devout creation. Olive, cerulean, and the familiar vermilion. Colors float to ceiling, and from their ribcage opens the mouth of brutality. in this shape 
loads my weapon and takes my face. Four, take me back to Earth. Another blink and I've traversed the portal to an angelic pink corridor. I stand on and am surrounded by carnal windowing. Skin and organ kiss, weaving a canopy of tapestry. It depicts the legend of mighty feats for which I will be celebrated. A ticklish rasp points me down a hallway and a milky voice calls to me. You are home. And I know this. At the end of this tube beckons the doorway of titans. Hinges squee, atmosphere peeks through the crevice. Fingers tango delectably behind timber, crawling out to see their guest of honor. They are accompanied by an unearthly shape. Light, blinding and tolerable, cape this marvelous being. Mortal conception rationalizes this figure as something between mollusk, eel, primate, and owl. The saint. My student. It invites. Join me. And I do. I follow this silhouette beyond the boundary of the temporal. We traipse through municipalities of entities more refined than I. It guides me through these dwellings of the evolved. I am draped in its velveteen blanket of suggestion. How warm, how snug. And we arrive. It and I stand in the playpen of the hypothetical. Rounded organisms of enterprise and consequence babble amongst each other. I wait. It commands me forward. I am required to catch this wave, to surf amongst the abstract. Trepidatious, but I can't be. I dive. The sooner I forget about the moments before, the sooner I thrive. Rosy, bulbous bodies cradle my aspirations, so unexpectedly welcoming, and I hug back as gratitude embeds in this quilt. My ear is pricked. Miserable contrarian draws cochlear plasma. The smallest drop infinitely ripples our floor. Unignorable. I detach from embrace, and towards this interrupter I swing. My fist, the hammer, delivers holiness, adorned in the twine of instinct, wrapped tight as a noose. And then this scene vanishes. Only the caretaker and I exist. No word is uttered, but gentle implication is planted. A beam glows from its face to mine. I mash knuckle to light, pounding, pounding, excavating origin of martyr and man. Its blood I batter. 
Correct. Mods, my god. I have done deity proud and become parallel. Of the same seed we sprout, potted together in heavenly skin, bound onto roots.